check to see if I got a, a purple moss from that guy. I mean a blooming purple moss from the toxic guy that I killed. Whoa, look how much experience I got. I mean, souls. No, I didn't, did I? Wow, that's bad luck. Oh, I can only level up once. Hmm. Dexterity gets me more damage, a little bit more defense, but endurance will give me a little bit more defense. More stamina. And a little bit more equipment load. Maybe more VIT. Yeah, why not? Start leveling up VIT. I think I have quite a low HPs. Try resignation. Even at death. Here. It's not true, there's nothing wrong here. It's just a chest with a dragon thing in it. Dragon scale. That's only for leveling up dragon weapons, which are weapons that you'll get from dragons, like doing special things. Like I got that Dragon King Great Axe from the uh the thing. That's massive and I can't wield it at all. <laughs> oh man, I can't change it until he's done like re What's the word? Recovering from that attack. I can't believe I've just forgot the word recovering. <gasps> I want to go human. Because there's another one of these red shade dudes. Well, it's not dude, this one. Oh man, I got my coffee in front of me. Nice. Mm. I nearly forgot about that. It could have gone cold, it's like barely even hot now. Oh well. I just don't want to get poisoned. So yeah, there we go. Man Eater Mildred. It looks a lot like one of those butcher people from further up just before we entered the sewer. Except it's not quite that grotesque, so I'm guessing it's a um Haha, <laughs> nice one. Oh my god, you scrub. Whoa, okay, she endured that hit. <gasps> she nearly read the roll. That would have been insane. Like, crazy. Uh-oh, that's not good. No! Well, I don't know how I didn't take damage there. She's really going for me now, though, but I'm going to finish her off, I think. Ow. Don't kill me. Don't do a kill me. That was a pretty smooth move. Right, rolled backwards into the mountain. And then it pushed me back and gave, got me closer to her. I got humanity and the butcher knife. I should have had a sack off with her. Worn a sack on my head. And had a do. But I mean, the boss is actually over there in that ominous as hell looking place. Like that, that scared me the first time. Also, there are bolder dudes like blocking the way. There's three of them, and I'm standing in poop. There's a third one. But yeah, the boss is right in that cave through that cave there. But we're going this way because it's a really special item. Remember those um, fire link. Keeper souls, fire keep souls. There's another one up this way. So Welcome to Obrin Martel. I effed up big time last episode and I actually ran out of hard drive space immediately before the the thing, before I went up the thing, basically where it cut off last episode. I probably put a thing in that said um, and then I ran out of hard drive space and had to go do thing on Oberyn Martel and that's where this comes in I think but yeah basically went beat the boss and then gave this woman some stuff and then I realized that I actually had been recording for like half an hour so basically what I'm gonna do I'm gonna run back I'm gonna show you the shortcut into Bligged Town okay I'm going to show you the shortcut to the boss directly from the Firelink Shrine, actually. As long as you have the uh, 
ye olde key thing thing. Uh, wing sphere plus five. Ah, oh, jeez, that's really good actually. Holy crap! Over Martel's going to be fine against this boss, even though um, Jamie Lannist is ten levels above him, I think. But yeah. Oh my god, it sucks so much. I'll I'll, I'll give you a. I'll tell you what happened. Everything that happens. I'll tell you the thing and the thing, thing, thing. Gotcha. Gotcha. But yeah, I don't know if I've showed you down here before. But there's a elevator. First time you come in, it'll be all up top though, because I've been down it before apparently. It wasn't there. I think what happened on this character was I tried running down to like quickly kill Quilug. I, I basically killed the um, the gargles and then I came back down here to kill Quilug. I keep calling the boss by its name, I'm such a dummy. But I went down here to kill this boss which unlocks the um, next half of the game essentially. This would be locked if you didn't have the key, the master key. But um, yeah, and I got wrecked by these blights, fatties. Because they clobbered me, and I never knew. There it is, that's my light. They clobbered me because I didn't know their hitboxes were so bad. But yeah, I'm fine. Ah, it's fine. Okay. Uh, you heard of all those nasty people. And I don't think you actually... Ah, uh, did you? Did you know about the thing? No, I don't think you did know about the fire, fire thingy thing. Okay. So, um, wait. This doesn't feel right. This doesn't feel right. Where am I going? Yeah, this is right. Okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. The... Where is it? There it is, down there. Basically, down in this way. Oh, crap. Is, um... Oh crap, that's not good. That's not good. Go down that way, get a fire, sh a fire thing thing. I'm gonna die! Oh my god, I'm just trying to rush through this so hard, but I'm gonna die. Go that way that I was pointing you out over there, and there's a fire keeper's soul, which lets you upgrade your Estus flask, which is what I also did on Jamie Lannis, but you didn't see because I'm dumb. Oh my god, that was scary. But yeah, and I've got to show you my technique for getting across again, but I don't mind because I'll use it anyway. Of course I use my technique when I'm techniquing across the thing. Okay. Run, 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 run. Do I have perfect moss clump? Yes, I do. I've got three. So if I die twice, then I'm dead. But run around here, hug this wall. I don't know if I even pointed out where the boss was. He's over that way. I did more damage to that thing, so this weapon does more damage to the boss, so I think I'll be okay. Oh my god. I can't believe I screwed up that hard. Good stuff. Good show. You can only imagine how great La uh, Jamie Lannis would have looked defeating the boss though, right? Also, I did die once on the boss, even though it's embarrassingly easy. Well, it's not for first players, but people who've played it done this boss loads of times it's easy so easy because it's just so so easy to dodge and it telegraphs its attacks super well and here we go coffee oh no coffee gone Very pretty, but you can't do that. You can't do that. That's setting unrealistic standards for women. I said that last time as well, but I thought I'd bring it back. Basically, uh, if she's doing her sword thing, that's easy to dodge. That's easy to dodge. 
god. You want to watch her for what she's doing to figure out what's going to happen. Not the spider. So if she's doing that, she's going to do a sword stab forward thing. If she does it like that, yep, she's doing sword stab forward thing again. But what you want to do is be real careful. If the legs, uh, if the spider legs start like going inwards, like he keeps, he starts um, pulling his legs in, then there's going to be an explosion around her. So you want to run away from the boss as fast as possible. But if she's doing any sword, oh, I actually got hit. That's what I get for setting unrealistic stands for women. Wait, I'm not doing that, you are. You son of a bitch. I'm not going to lose. I'm Oberyn Martell. I can't lose. Uh oh, get close for this one. And you can stab away. But then run away because you might grab her legs in again. I need to heal again, I think. Yeah, that would do. Oh, that was getting awfully close. Nah. See, can you see why it's embarrassing that I died on this boss now? Because she can't hit you very well when you're here. It seems to be that when she's walking, that's when she'll use the um, sword attacks like right there. There we go. Oh, maybe not. He just kind of spewed that one out on the floor, really. Oh. Too easy. I think it fired up. Now has it unlocked the explosion or what? Oops. I'm going to move out of the way. Whoa, what? Oh, I didn't even see the sword hit me. That's a hitbox. There, that's the one. That's the explosion. You want to get way clear of it. What is he doing? He's made almost a circle around himself. That's actually a pretty decent tactic. He's still going. He's still making that circle. There's so much lava. So much lag lava. Nice try, you dumb dummy. Nah. Not worth it. Oh crap, that nearly was a death. That nearly was a death. I pa had to panic roll. Just spew out some lava, please. Thank you. Ah, I'm out of potion. Could still die. There's the chance. What's this say? I did it. No, you didn't. You're still here, like me. Uh oh, or if she used the thing, if she used the explosion thing, I would have been trapped in her legs. Or, or in its legs, I don't know. Oh my god, I can't believe you've done this. This takes so long! Go on, put your legs in. Oh, I guess not. Use a sword attack then. Nearly dead. Don't kill me, please. Man, I got some range on me. As Oberyn Martell. This is the wing spear I got from the graveyard, by the way. Gonna stab her as she runs over. Hey, you can't drop a stamp, double stamp. Oh, that's it, game over. I win, Oberyn win.
Okay. Then what I did after defeating that boss easily like a pro. After dying once against it. But let's not count that death. Let's not count that death. Is I walked over through here. I rung the second bell of awakening. Please say I killed the gargoyles. Because otherwise you won't get to see the cutscene of the door opening. It's not very important though, so who cares? Oh, thank God. And then I said coffee, because I was drinking coffee. And then I said coffee two more times, because this was a coffee-worthy cutscene. So there's that open, and that's where the fat guy was sitting down, going, still closed, still closed. So clearly now it's not still closed, and he's going to be in there fighting the crap. So we're going to go find him next episode, I hope, I think. Illusory wall ahead. Yeah, it's right here. It's so obvious, too. And we walked over this guy. Oh, dear. Yes. Mm. But you have no eggs. No matter. Go along and have audience with our fair lady. I pray that you will mind your manners. And then after he moved out of the way, I told you a sad story of this woman. And I guess I'll have to do it again. As you can see, all these people have eggs on them. And they're like the serv they're the servants of these this uh, these two spider ladies. Like they're their people. So she, seeing that they were all infested with parasitic eggs, Quilana here sucked all of the poison out of all of their eggs so they can still live with their eggs on them. But that caused her to become very ill. Like she's infested with loads of eggs here. Eggs all over the place, see that? So, she's ill, and her sister, the uh, spider lady that we just slew, Quilog, was out collecting humanity to try and help her sister. Like, the more humanity she gets to help if she becomes, so she was out getting humanity. We killed her, so I felt really sorry, and I gave her, I offered her 10 humanity, and I entered her covenant. And I reinforce Nestor's flask. That is all. Goodbye.